Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick um, video talking about the latest cumulative update for Windows 10. So if you go to your Windows updates, you should see a cumulative update called simply, if I look at my update history, um, cumulative update for Windows 10 version 16.07 for x64 based system, KB3194496. This is an update that was released earlier in the week for insiders and um, then it was released um, by steps. Um, most of us received it yesterday, the 29th. So what's in this update exactly? Um, basically this update, first of all, if you look at the version of Windows you have by issuing the winver command, is supposed to tell you that you are right now with this update at 14.393.222, latest version of uh, Windows 10, latest build. What it does, it has improved reliability of Windows Update. Apparently, uh, the fact that a lot of people had problems with Windows Update for the um, last cumulative update before this one is due to some bug that's happening in Windows Update. Now they fixed that with this update apparently. Um, shared drives, virtual private network, clustering, HTTP downloads, uh, Internet Explorer 11, Hyper-V platform, multimedia playback, and Microsoft Edge you know, as all have improved reliability. So uh, I've noticed that Microsoft Edge been giving me little pop-ups that I haven't seen before. So it shows that they actually updated the uh, core of uh, Edge. And so it was telling me about the buttons and um, everything that I could be uh, using or that could be useful for me. So also improved performance of push and local notifications. Uh, there were some people saying that notifications across Windows 10 devices for example weren't working properly. This fixes this. Also um, social media websites that didn't work well on Microsoft Edge so some people were going to Facebook for example and things weren't working right. Uh, addressed issue where mapping a drive from an elevated command prompt doesn't work with an administrator credentials. And so also you have um, addressed issue causing movies that were ripped using the transport, the transport stream format, .ts, to play without sound in media, uh, Windows Media Player on the Xbox One Media Player app. So you see that it affects pretty much every device, even Xbox. The addressed issue where ActiveX can be installed when using the ActiveX installer service in Internet Explorer 11. Uh, address an issue causing the print all link documents to not work in Internet Explorer 11. The, uh, I did an improved real reliability of downloading and updating games for the store. So if you had some issues, some people were reporting to me that um, in, you know it, it's almost always there there are some issues with the store. This fixes some problems with the store that could maybe make things go better. Also, addressed issue causing unnecessary notifications about fixing Microsoft account in Windows 10 Mobile. They also fixed uh, Windows Kernel, Windows Shell, uh, the Enterprise Security, Storage File System, Remote Desktop, uh, Core Platform, Hyper-V Platform, Windows Update for Business, Display Kernel, Near Field Communication, or NFC chips, like for example, Mobile Payments. They also have um, improved upon reliability of the Bluetooth, um, Windows Storage API, App Registration, Trusted Platform Module, Group Policy. Internet Explorer also has a um, update uh, making it more reliable in Windows 10. Active Directory Connection Manager and Data Usage Access Point Names Database. Once again, um, more fixes for Microsoft Edge, uh, Windows Recovery Environment File Clusters, um, Universal Windows Platform Apps, Audio Playback Settings, USB bar Barcode Reader, Adobe Flash Player Stuff, um, some Cloud Infrastructure also, um, Domain Name System Server Network Controller, uh, Cortana has some updates because it has some issues. Some people are reporting to me that their webcam is working fine in this version and uh, you know a lot of people are reporting a broken webcam in the uh, anniversary update um, which was not my case uh, basically and um, now apparently this 
fixes, some people have been reporting that this fixes some um, the Logitech and the not just Logitech because it's many webcams. And the funny thing, by the way, of the webcam because a lot of people have been saying, well, you know, it's Microsoft's fault. Well, not totally because if you don't have the Logitech software, like for example, I don't have the Logitech software installed. I haven't had any problems, and pretty much everybody that don't have the software installed don't have problems. It seems to me really with the Logitech software that it came through. So it's it's let's say it's a 50-50 blame here, because um, I think Logitech, for example, handled it in a uh, uh, kind of a, a bad way, saying, "Well, it's it's Windows." Well, it's kind of half and half here. It's not just Windows. It's uh, there's a lot of things happening. So check it out, Windows. Uh, update is here it um, for most people it arrived yesterday uh, September 29th and uh, it fixes a number of issues so if you've had some problems in Windows update um, if you had some problems with Windows 10 anniversary update check it out this uh, fixes a number of issues in the operating system um, if you've applied it and had some issues why not uh, share your own comments about this did it fix anything did it break something else? Um, what uh, is happening? I've seen two people tell me that the update took a lot of time to download. Don't despair if it seems stuck. You know, this is something that happens also um, from time to time with every update. So you, you download and then it gets stuck at a certain, you know, 10% to 50% or 70%. And it seems to do nothing at all in the download. Don't worry. Um, restart your PC. It should eventually go through, uh, basically. And by the way, just a little add-on. Um, I've got KB3189866, but um, that update, a lot of you had problems installing it and used my trick to download it manually. Uh, if you search for this in the update catalog, it's not available anymore because that problem preventing the uh, download and install of the update, uh, they modified the update, so they gave it a new number, so it's uh, not... KB3189866. If you haven't applied it, it shows up as another number for many, many people that just waited for the Windows update to show it up uh, in their uh, computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and hopefully this update fixes some of your issues.